we just got the news. Uh, they Georgia has announced an extension in Jacksonville. That series will remain in Jacksonville for the 2025 and 2024 seasons. Uh, we knew that they had had a date to um, – to execute that extension. I believe it was June 30th. And then obviously this news comes on the heels of Georgia, uh, uh, or at least the outgoing Jacksonville mayor, Lenny Curry said renovations are coming to uh, Jacksonville's uh, stadium. And that ultimately might force this game to move away from Jacksonville for two seasons. Okay. So let me, we'll come back to the land Thomas and the, yes. the Jane Riddell part of this in a minute. Let me kind of talk about this for a moment. Um, we had had the indication that some news was going to be coming. We, uh, we're obviously, you know, on our heels to see what that was going to be. We find out the extension is going to take place. There are a couple of things to me that are interesting about this, Connor. I guess a sort of procedural thing here first. There has been some dispute about when the Jacksonville Stadium renovations were going to occur. And I think by extending this here, 24 and 25, keeping the game in Jacksonville, I take that to mean these Jacksonville Stadium renovations won't now take place until 26 and 27. Because some initial reporting, I think the – Jacksonville mayor had probably gotten this messed up. That's what led to some confusion here. But the the early reporting was that the stadium renovations might happen sooner rather than later. But if you're going to play this game in 24 and 25, I would then say you can't even begin the stadium re renovations until 2026 and 2027. So if you're looking at a different venue for the stadium, you're obviously not now getting that until 2026, which there was an earlier indication that might come sooner than that. Correct. Uh, Curry, in his media appearance, I guess it was technically earlier in May, maybe it was late April. Uh, the dates blur together at this point. But I, I think the big thing is, yes, you are you are correct. This And the contract always sort of, we knew that they had the opportunity to extend this to 25. And so I think logistically speaking, they have said that the renovations to the Jacksonville Stadium are going to take two full seasons. And so logistically going forward, what this sort of sets up now is, 24, 25, you play out the rest of this contract. And again, this is speculation. They're going to have to figure this, these things out. 24, 25, you play this, uh, you play these conference, you play these games there. 26, 27, if the renovations are happening, which Jacksonville is motivated, not for necessarily the Georgia Florida game, but for the NFL stadium aspects of this, to get those season renovated in 26, 27, you make those two home and homes, and then you're probably revisiting and starting in 2028, Georgia, Florida, potentially being back in Jacksonville. But one thing I think, and you and I have both sort of been in lockstep in this, well, we love Georgia, Florida being in Jacksonville. I think with the way this thing has gone in recent years, we also do sort of start to see, I don't know how much longer this is going to be there. And I, and this is more speculative than, than true based in fact, I do wonder if once we move this to a home and home, if the two sides get a tasting to it. I mean, we know Kirby Smart wants this. Unless Jacksonville starts throwing out significant sums of money to get this to come back to Georgia, to come back to Jacksonville, I wonder if maybe this is the sort of first step of long term turning it into a home and home. So a couple of things about that, I guess. Do you take it serious what Andy Staples reported the other day, the idea that they may not go home and home, that they may actually go play in Orlando or Tampa or even Atlanta for those two years? Because as I guess, I don't know who Staples source was, but uh, you you can make your own assumptions there, I guess, but um, uh, that, you know, the idea that it's just really expensive to have a home game and it's expensive to go on the road and they actually make so much money from this neutral site game that Andy Staples telling of this in the athletic is it's not obvious they will go home and home for those two years because it's going to be a financial loser in comparison with the neutral site game brings in. If that game's in Orlando in, uh, in, in let's say 26 and in, in 27 they do it in Atlanta. Are we going to Disney World before the game? Are we so, going to Disney World after the game? Mickey Mouse is not putting up with our nonsense. Like no. it's like Jacksonville will let us go down there and act the fool. Yeah. You can't go do that at Disney Springs. You cannot have the world's largest outdoor cocktail party at Disney Springs. You just, no. you just can't do that. You know, drinking uh whatever while you have a dole whip. You just you, you can't the mouse, do that. The mouse isn't gonna approve. I mean, I that does make sense. I mean, I, I'll be honest here. I don't want to see this game played in Atlanta. I, don't I just don't. I, don't I just don't. And, and like I understand, you know, renovating the stadium in Jacksonville, it is a dump. It, it is not a great. It is not a great stadium. Uh, I, I do get that. You know, again, and, and I think that might be posturing on Florida's part because you brought up maybe some of the connections that uh, Staples had had in reporting other Florida-related stories on that. I think maybe, there, and, and this has long been the case, Florida wants to keep this a a, a neutral site game. I do maybe start to wonder if Florida is pushing for that neutral site narrative, you know, Orlando, Tampa, Atlanta, 
Um, I do wonder if they're pushing for that because they kind of know if they do turn this into an on-campus, Georgia and Kirby Smart in particular are going to be even more dug in on the idea that, hey, we need to keep this a home and home every year. Well, along those lines, I'm looking at the official statement from Georgia announcing the contract extension has been signed for 2024 and 2025. This is probably media insider stuff that nobody cares about, but I see a nice quote from Josh Brooks. I see a nice quote quote from Florida Athletic Director Scott Strickland. Can't help but notice that Kirby Smart's not quoted for this particular press release from Georgia, which oftentimes, you know, you know Kirby will kind of have some sort of quote attributed to him. In this particular case, Kirby Smart's name does not appear on this press release anywhere. Uh, uh, is the uh, conspiracy cap on there? Are you saying that that was uh, not a not a surprise that Smart would not comment on that? Yeah, maybe not. Or, or they didn't feel the need to even ask him to, you know, even attach a comment to his name there on that. But I think you and I are about different on something here, though. I have actually grown to believe over the course of the last couple of weeks, I think the chances of this game staying in Jacksonville long-term are now much greater than I ever assumed they would be. I thought this was going to come to an end. I thought this was over. But we have seen some reporting, and I do take this pretty seriously, the idea that Georgia-Florida is a major stakeholder in the stadium renovation that's going to take place in Jacksonville. In fact, there was a – I think it was the same athletic story – there was a, a person with the Jaguars organization that said the Georgia-Florida game is the most important game that takes place in Jacksonville every year. It'd be nice if the Atlanta Falcons to talk that way every now and then about Georgia football. But uh, the Jaguars at least recognize the value of the UGA brand. It's that kind of talk from the Jaguars, apparently, since Shad Khan has owned the team in a complete about face in terms of respecting Georgia-Florida compared to, I guess, the previous ownership was. And they're talking so big and bold about this and – and I feel like they probably feel like they need the money that Georgia Florida provides to feel good about a big stadium renovation, just given the fact that Jack's a relatively small market for the NFL. I take it pretty seriously that a lot of this chatter right here, including the extension being signed leads you to believe, I think this game can actually remain in Jacksonville for a lot longer than I ever assumed that it would. I hope I'm wrong. I desperately do. Uh, I, I love going down to Jacksonville. I love the pageantry that comes with that game. I can already hear the commenter saying it's a Florida home game. No, it's not. It's a 50-50 split. And in fact, in recent years, with Georgia being so so dominant and Florida being such a mess, it's more the, it, it, there are more Georgia fans there than Florida. And, and so, look, we can we will have plenty of time to hash this out going forward. But I, I do, you know, maybe – and again, part of this too and part of where my mind goes with this is there's been a ton of Florida coaching turnover. And, and we still don't really know how Billy Napier really feels about this. He's sort of avoided the idea of where, you know, he falls in line – with what her, his thoughts on Jacksonville and the way things are shaping up at Florida. I don't even know if he's going to be the coach there by the time that say 2025 game rolls around. And so maybe that goes into it as well. Uh, It's, you know, as someone who wants this in Jacksonville today is obviously a win uh, and we'll see what comes next in this series. But obviously, you know, given the results and the news of the recent weeks, this is obviously something that isn't going away. And so we'll see, you know, obviously we'll get a chance to hear from Kirby Smart next week at SEC spring meetings. Yeah. Uh, and we'll get a better idea of how he feels about this going forward and ultimately where he, he believes and lines up with that. So circling back to 